Welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you an all new robotic kit called Cove. This here is the educator kit sent by Sony, in which if you want your very own, check out their link down below in the description. Now, this particular kit is pretty interesting, just because it teaches you about STEM education, coding, even imagination, all into one. Literally, you're building a robot from the ground up. From a variation of colors to sensors, it allows you to go ahead and use your imagination to the full extent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and give it a test drive. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, literally, the box itself is actually quite simple, but does weigh a good amount. Just because as soon as you open it up, BAM! Check that out. Literally, this thing is full with different parts, in which we have over 370 pieces in a single box. So that's actually a good amount. So let's go ahead and just kind of dump this out and see what we got. So this is more or less everything that it comes with. Uh, obviously I kind of simplified it for you guys, just so you guys get a better idea of what exactly we're looking at. So let's just kind of dive right into it. So this here is the core, or more or less the main hub of the whole entire operation. So we get an input as well as an output feed. Uh, these are our core buttons and here's our Bluetooth. So it works via Bluetooth so you can do everything on the computer and that gets sent directly to the robot without the wires connected to the computer. So that's always a nice uh, touch to it as well. Uh, this here is our output board as well as our input board. For the output, you can actually use LEDs, buzzers. Uh, for the input, you can go ahead and use the sensor blocks. And then here's our power and status and LEDs. And then our multi-LED as well, which shows multiple different colors, which is always programmable. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, and then over here we have our base. Uh, this here is where the hub or the uh, core itself will connect to, as well as the battery pack. So uh, you get two of those, and then this here is our battery pack, so it takes three double A's, so do keep that in mind. Literally, it's so the on-off switch, and that connects to the core, uh, which gives the power to the robot. Now, moving on, uh, these here are a few different LEDs we have in terms of output goes. So you have a red, blue, green, and white. Now, in terms of the color itself, they look exactly like any of the other uh, cubes go, uh, but they're transparent and they emit a light, so they make a great output function. And then another output function we have is the buzzer. So the buzzer will make a sound uh, determining on however you code it, which is always nice to have. And then we have ourselves a servo. So we actually get three of these servos here. Let's go put that out. So we get three of these servos here, which can actually function great for like arms in terms of the robot goes or like movement of a head. So always keep that in mind in terms of programming. And then we have ourselves a DC power uh, servo right here. So this is great in terms of like wheel movements or any kind of motion. So you get two of these. Uh, and then we have ourselves a light sensor. So the light sensor makes a great functionality in terms of input goes. So if it determine if it sees light, you can go ahead and create an action, which is always nice. Uh, we get ourselves a push switch. The push switch literally works the way as it sounds. You push the button down and it'll actually create an action. So it has a slot right here, which allows you to go ahead and build blocks off of. So if you press like the uh, parent's nose or something, it'll create an action, which is always cool. Uh, and then we get ourselves two of these infrared uh, sensors. So determining on how you want to go and function, you can always use that. Uh, and then this is really interesting, you get an accelerometer. So it's something you like see in cell phones, depending on like the motion of the, the robot itself, will actually create an action, which is always cool to go ahead and program. So that is definitely advanced. Now we get a variety of different tables that we can use and a variety of different blocks. So you get these cube blocks here, uh, which you get 28 blocks of each. That's a good amount of different blocks. Uh, and then we get these different half blocks. Uh, so yellow comes in uh, a half A as well as a half B. Both are 15 pieces each. And then over here we have ourselves the half C blocks, which come in orange as well as blue. And these are 60 pieces each. Uh, and then we get ourselves the half uh, D block, which come in purple and orange. Uh, and then both of these come in 24 as well as 12 pieces. And then we get ourselves the prism blocks here. So that's yellow and blue, both 16 pieces. And then up here we have our beam blocks, uh, which are coming in 10 pieces each, which are yellow and purple. So a good amount of variation in terms of what you can build. Uh, and obviously the possibilities are really endless when you get that amount of uh, quantity. Now over here we have ourselves a 360 connector, or more or less a rotational connector. So you can go ahead and like uh, create a different kind of posture, which is always nice. And then we have ourselves an eye. You can always use that for like your alligator or your parrot or any kind of animal that you may be making, or even a humanoid. Uh, and then we have ourselves four wheels with rubber tires. 
We get a large gear, a small gear, and then we get a two of these uh, rock gears, which kind of like rub against each other. And then lastly, we get a block remover. So overall, a very great, a vast a variety amount of different things that come with this. Uh, and with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into the application itself now and see how this all works out and then go ahead and start building ourselves a robot. All right, so this here is the main app itself and it's actually really nicely designed. It does come with the whole entire robotic kit, so do keep that in mind. Now, upon the opening, you can go ahead and select a player or an avatar is how you like to look at it. So you, let's just go ahead and click on Tim for now. And then it'll kind of upload and create this cool looking like almost like a home situation. So you get a robot recipes, you get a learning course, even a free production and then a collection. Now, kind of give you an idea what this is all about. So if, if I just click on robot recipes, this will go ahead and load up different recipes on what you can build and kind of teach you about robotics. So you got like a pony, you got a giraffe, you got a race car and so on and so forth. And it's actually pretty cool stuff on how it works. So it literally gives you step by step directions on how to make this. So, you know, definitely something I want to go ahead and try out. So let's just go ahead and try one out here for now. So we'll click on the parrot and then we'll click on uh, make. So this will download that recipe for us and kind of explain to us step by step how to build this and then even code it as well. So it's actually really cool and very user friendly, which is always a plus. So there we go. So what we do is we click on next, it shows you which pieces you need. So you just go ahead and place all these pieces together and then you just go ahead and start building. Now this is actually pretty interesting stuff over here. So it does give you a full 360 motion of what you can see uh, and it shows the different pieces. You can even like pause it or like kind of do it at your own uh, leisure. You can zoom in and just go through it step by step and it'll show you how to go ahead and put it all together until you get to the final step which is the uh, parrot robot itself. So let's go ahead and build this robot really quickly and see how this all looks. finally done and wow this thing looks really cool you can actually see the way they designed it is actually very unique I love all the variety of colors especially with it being transparent it almost gives it a very nice blend now it literally does look like a parrot but almost like a pixelated version of one so it's actually a very unique style in terms of the way they make it now let's just go ahead and continue on with this so this here is the coding aspect of the robot itself so you can actually, it gives you an idea how it all plays out. So it's like an if then kind of variable setup. So, you know, depending on what kind of randomness you have a setup, it'll go ahead and pick a specific angle, kind of giving it a very lifelike appearance. So we can go ahead and try this out by clicking play. And you'll notice that the parrot will start moving his head. Look at that. And it'll show the code at its working at the same time. So it's actually quite interesting because it's actually shooting it at itself in a random sense. And now you can always incorporate more servos. And yeah, in this case here, it just kind of looks around. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and click stop for now. And then you just click on next here and it kind of says remix your code. If you want to go back to the original code, then you just hit that. So we can always go ahead and like change the different variables and create our own motions and change different senses. So for instance, if we wanted to pick a random uh, number here, we could change the angle between, it says 45 to 135 degrees. So I can actually go ahead and click on that and even like make it significantly higher. So if I do uh, say 300 and hit check and then change this to say 290 it'll automatically pick an angle between 290 and 300. So you can actually see how far it's turning its head now. So that's actually pretty fun. That, just experimenting it will actually kind of teach you more about robotics. 
So it's actually really cool stuff and you can go ahead and incorporate more by including like LEDs uh, and then just kind of adjusting it based on that, even like sensors. So you know, just some cool stuff all together. All right, so the next thing we're gonna build is actually the Hippo. Uh, so we can just click that right here. Now this is an advanced difficult version of it. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out and see how this all plays out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes here and just start off at the coding aspect of it. As you may see, the robot itself is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's actually got a few different servos on it as well as a variety of different light sensors including two infrared sensors, a light sensor, even a buzzer. Now on both of the legs itself there are two different servos to open up the legs just like that. And then you can go ahead and close the leg just like that as well. And then on the bottom here you have a set of wheels to help with its movement. And then even the mouth itself does open it up so it can actually speak as well. Now in terms of coding goes, uh, the coding that comes pre-programmed with this particular robot is mainly in terms of movement. So let's try this out. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the coding aspect of it. All right, so this here's the code. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on test mode for now. Uh, this will kind of show you how this thing all kind of plays out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and then watch what happens. So there's two sensors on the back. If I go ahead and push them, uh, put my finger over them, it'll start moving. There you go. So it's gonna move and as soon as I let it go of it, it'll stop. And then if I put my finger on the other sensor, which are, are back here, uh, it'll turn the other way. So I'll start turning. And if I let go, it'll stop as well. So you can technically kind of go between the two and make it dance. Now, uh, in terms of the other servos go, you just go ahead and play with it. You can actually go ahead and program the mouth to open up, as well as the legs to move as it's moving. So it's actually pretty cool. All right, so that was actually pretty interesting stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and click on next here and then uh, click finish. So that's kind of it in terms of robot recipes. So you can actually download a vast amount of variety of different robots, which is always really cool. And then you can go ahead and write a record of it and we'll click next. So you can even write a comment and we can even upload a video, upload an image, and there we have it. So we can actually share the robot with other creators so people can see that, hey, we made this robot. So if I click on collection here, it will show us that a parrot has been added to your collection. And then these are all the different like things that people have made. So it's actually a very cool looking community in which uh, you can actually even like share your own robot recipes, which is always fun. Now, free production uh, is a, a, an ability to share your projects with other people. So you can actually go ahead and like upload images of it and kind of show people, which is always cool. And then if you click on start here, we can actually go ahead and uh, create our own code as well as our own robot. So if you click create with code, it'll give you a screen where you can create your own code. So let's try that next. So this here is like the coding aspect of it. So we can go ahead and create our own variables uh, and motions and different sensors and just kind of click on test mode and send it to it. So it actually does give you a good amount of variety, which you can actually use it to the full extent. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit for now. And we go back to free productions again and we'll hit start, uh, we'll click no. And then we'll click without code this time and see what this looks like. And it says put a cool name to your robot, upload an image so we can name it uh, like con or conflicts. Uh, and then what's your robot like? Uh, so, you know, it's fun. <laughs> uh, so you can describe it, whatever you want to do it. Upload an image. Uh, and then voila, you can go ahead and share it with the community. So that's actually really cool. So other people can see it, comments on it, kind of give you an ideas. So that's always really cool design uh, aspect to it. Now the learning course. So this here is pretty interesting stuff. Uh, it's actually got like an adventure map, uh, which you go stage by stage. You can actually see the map itself. Uh, and then you learn about robotics itself, so, so it'll tell you what you need. Uh, and then you'll go ahead and make an LED blink, use two different colors, and literally step by step, you work your way to become a robot genius. So that's actually really cool stuff there, and they got different maps here, how to become a black artist, um, brushing up on coding skills. It's actually a really well-defined app itself, and once again, it's very user-friendly. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you had any questions about the Cove Robotic Kit, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.